my god, that game, this game. Exploration, so that was puzzle mode. What could exploration be? Hey girl, how you been? Not surprised to see you confused. So you need a hand dealing with this new environment, so here I am. Also, welcome to Autumn's Rise. Quite the change after that barren cargo ship, huh? There are many things to discover here, but not only that, there's a lot of new things you can do as well. Like changing equipment, learning skills, performing combat arts, and more. Glad it caught your attention, but getting to know all this ain't a small feat, and that's why I gathered all these folks over here. Hello! These are experienced Crossworlds players, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them for you. If you want to buy something, come to me. I have all the tasty stuff. Before you know, here's your basic equipment and an experienced head start. Happy exploring. Whoa, I got a bunch of gear. And a level up. Press tab to open the main menu and up to open the quick menu. Whoa, whoa, we have a game now. We have an RPG. Okay, this is me. This is my inventory. Holy RPG. Consumables. Rookie blade, starting equipment. Uh, rookie hat, rookie belt, rookie boots, trade valuables, circuits. These are. Oh my god! Oh, this is the skill tree system. Holy crap! Defense plus, focus plus, attack plus, max HP. I'm gonna go with attack plus. Cost one CP. I have two. Attack plus increases attack. Melee damage increases melee damage. 16%. I like the melee attack. Oh, but that costs two. I can't do that. Um. Oh, wait. That's one general CP. And then there's, looks like fire, maybe ice, lightning, and wind CP also. That's pretty wild. Uh, let me do increased defense also. B, swap branches. Exit swap, swap branches. Whoa, you can... Maybe at some point. Oh, you can probably do some kind of juggling with those. Help. Welcome to the circuit menu. Spin your cross points to unlock skills. For this demo, you can only select the neutral skill tree. The final will have a tree for each element. Okay, cool. I don't want to read all that, but that's super cool. It's kind of like the Final Fantasy X sphere grid, sort of, in the you unlock things and then see things further. Sort of that skill tree, that sort of skill tree. Equipment. Head. Oh, let's wear my rookie hat, and my rookie blade, and my rookie blade in both arms. I have two weapons, and my rookie belt, and my rookie boots. I'm all geared up. I was hoping it would reflect in here, but it doesn't. That's fine. Alright, here's all my stuff. Oh, are those like elemental resistances? Whew. Map. Credit, playtime. Up to open the quick menu, or is that... What is that button? to open the quick menu. It's not the up arrow keys, because I can use them to move around. Tab? It's not tab. Shift? Shift. Oh, shift. What is this? Consumables? Map? Oh, the, oh, look at that animation, too. That's awesome. And these trees! Oh, these trees are so nice. I love this game. I love it. Okay, hello. Hey, girl! Didn't mention it, but you can also reset your skill tree here or check your stats. Just a little thing the developers thought would be helpful. Take a look at your progress or reset your skills. Alright. Speaking of money, set up an interesting shop. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hook you up with it. Nod stats, nod reset, nod buy. Oh, you have to nod. That's funny. Uh, stats. These are your stats. Alright. Uh, reset skills or buy gear? Do I have any money? I don't. Oh my god. Look how the, the cost adds up as you change them. Oh my god, the polish. The polish is unreal. Hello there, I'm so called Quadrigard and here to explain the equipment menu. What do the stats do? Attack, HP, attack, defense, focus. HP is you take damage, that's fine. Attack is how much damage you do. Defense is receive damage. Focus is how often you do critical hits. All right, that makes, fine. That makes sense. Equipment, I think I get. I figured it out already. All right, uh, what's up? I'm a Pentafist professional. Know about the skills and circuits menu. Skills. Collect circuit points. Uh, I did that. And then you select a circuit. Okay, so cool. That's basically, I figured that out too. Skill branches. It splits and then joins. These are skill branches. The downside, you can only activate one at a time. Okay, that makes sense. 
Hello? I'm a triblader. You got questions about the combat arts? What are combat arts? Learn combat arts activating the right skills. Combat arts skills are, bl are bright blue and shiny with black symbols. You can learn four different melee, throwing arts, dashing arts, and guarding arts. You can find two skills for each and be able to switch between them. You can learn more about them from the other guy. Okay, that's fine. How do I perform them? Space. Oh, so that's probably what that explode thing was. That makes sense. Okay. SP. Special points. They're fighting enemies. Okay, you use your combat arts with them. All makes sense. Hectocast element modes. Press 1 to switch to cold, 3 to heat. Turn to neutral, press it again. Switch them at any time. They'll influence the properties of your attacks for more damage. When you use the right element, you'll see a yellow arrow. That's cool. Keep in mind, you won't be able to use any of the combat arts while being in anything but neutral. Okay. What is elemental overload? When using anything other than neutral, your element load will increase. If you want to know the current level of your element load, it'll fill up. Once it fills up, you're forced back into neutral mode. Interesting. The enemy's neutral mode will make the load drop off more swiftly. Huh. Okay. Uh, what can I do? What are you, cube? Sandwich. I got ten sandwiches. Whoa. And I can go punch some hedgehogs. He told me to go punch some hedgehogs, so I'm gonna punch some hedgehogs. Whoa, who do, like, real damage to me? Alright. XP. I got 66 XP. Oh my god, I love all the numbers. Alright, cool. Wow, he really... I'm really getting hurt by this hedgehog. I'm gonna die to the hedgehog. No, okay. Whew. I got 42 credits. My HP is regening. That's good to know. I can switch between cold and heat mode. And then neutral. Interesting. So this is like the open world. So this is the game, I guess? This is the RPG game? And now I'm in an open world environment. Let me punch some hedgehogs. They weren't kidding. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies, including a gopher listening to headphones. Wait, what was that? So this is the, like... Wow. There is so much in this game. This is crazy. The gopher is attacking me. Oh, actually, everything's attacking me. I'm kind of screwed. I kind of... I got a little too ambitious here with the, with the combat, and I'm taking a super amount of damage. Gonna regen. And I'm gonna try cold mode and see if anyone is doing cold damage. No? How about heat? Heat damage does any extra? No, but it's super cool looking. Do I see an element overload menu happening? Oh, I think that's the crazy glitchy things, so now I'm stuck back in neutral mode. Okay. Why is this gopher jamming out to headphones? I don't know, but he looks like a super cool dude. I died. Okay, and I just respawned. Okay, I want to be in neutral mode. Actually, no, the element mode did do more damage. And then I switched to cold. Does this do more damage? Wow, he really, he really packs a punch. I gotta be super careful, actually. I really should be doing more throwing and less melee. Wow. Wow. They're really... Like, this is... This is not easy. There's a lot to pay attention to here. Right, let me try to kill this guy. And then not let him crash my party. Yeah, he like... Oh, I, so I really can't melee the gopher. He like... He really... Oh, he killed me again! Wow! This is art. Alright, let me wait for my hit points to regen. Yeah. 
I don't know why I'm so I feel so surprised by how hard the combat is, or not hard, but like it's very like active. Like, you can't just button mash. Like you gotta really pay attention, which is great. I love that as a like I love being rewarded for really putting effort into into it. You know. Um, but at the same time, I was not expecting it to be this hard. Um, which is good, like I said. Like, I really, I really have to try here. Like, the, I went through those tutorials, and they are really actually putting them to the test. Alright, I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta hedgehog down. I have to really extra make sure his red flashy mode doesn't get me. He's really hard to, to hit. I can't melee him at all. Maybe I can do this, will it break his- No! Oh, and he killed me! Oh, I was so close! <sighs> Maybe I can just kill him? That attack does so much damage. Wow. Alright. I'm obviously doing something wrong. In the sense of, like, not... I mean, I'm dodging a little, but I have to be, like, way more careful, I guess. Like, if they're attacking me, I can't just fight through it. I gotta let it go. Okay. There we go. We've got some... Get some regen going. And now let me... This is good so far, but that, man, that area, that attack does so much damage. Okay. We switch to fire. Okay, I got the, I got the hedgehog down. I just gotta kill the, the album gopher, the hipster gopher. Get away from him to turn red. And then I can do this and then dodge, right? Is this good? I just gotta not get hit, because this attack does a ton of damage. No, okay, okay, don't get hit. Oh, no, don't, don't. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, it's still just him. That's good to know, too. Oh, that's also good. Oh, my God, am I gonna kill him in, like... Okay, so that's the trick. You gotta kill him when he pops up. There we go. That wasn't hard at all. In hindsight, now there's people around. Okay, wow, that was embarrassing. Is there anything up here? Can I jump up here? Just jump off? Okay, now let's see what else is around. What does this kid have to say? Hi! That's Miss Avatar again. Great to see you in Cross Worlds. Isn't it awesome here? Man, I can't wait to play myself one day. Anyway, I'm not just here for the funsies. Cap gave me an important task to help you with your equipment. We can't just give out the stuff, those rules. Don't worry, we'll turn into a reward for a simple quest. Defeat ten em enemies in this area and come back for your reward. You already got nine kills, so you only need one more. Happy hunting. Alright. I guess I can just do this, like, just fight them. Alright, if they're not gonna... That seems like it'll work. Alright, I really... Okay, I feel like I'm getting better at it now. I'm getting... I'm getting the idea. Hey, give me my thing. Alright, um... Got enough kills for the quest. Here's some low-grade equipment. Edge at all, crosswalkers, explorer's cap, and second hide. Alright, and a level up. With some stat increases down there. Cool. Equipment. Let me get my explorer's cap plus the defense and focus. Very nice. 
my edge of all plus two attack, my other one plus two attack, my second hide, which is a plus to XP and defense, that's nice, and my grass walkers plus to XP and focus, cool. I wonder how to get up there to talk to that person. There's a person up here. That's probably this path. Probably. There's probably a way up to that path. Who are you? Can't you see him in the middle of something? Uh, no, but okay. Oh my god, I died, like... I sort of couldn't see them because of the tree. I couldn't see when they were... when they were bawling. Alright, there we go. Whew. Whew. Let me just regen a little bit. And then head on up here. Oh, that, I'm in a circle of four, though. That's, that's kind of dangerous. Although I can hit them all at once, which is good. And I can dodge. Well, that was good. I dodged a lot. Oh, you can dodge through them, too. That's useful. I didn't... You don't have to just dodge out of the way. Oh, I died anyway. I was busy looking at the elemental overload thing. You don't... You can't... You don't have to dodge out of the way. You can dodge, like, towards them, and it still runs through. That kind of, that's good to know. Alright, we got some fire action going on here. Alright. Alright, 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 there we go. I'm getting better at this. It's, it's really, there's a rhythm to it, you know? You have to, like, attack, fall back, attack, fall back, attack. There's, like, a real, there's a real back and forth. And you really have to pay attention. Okay, cool. Oh, the tree, the tree really got me. But there we go. That was good. Get some fire action going on this guy. Nice. Level up. All right, I'm getting better now. Oh, this water is so pretty. Okay. Um. All of these ledges are too high for me to hop on. I also, I also like how, um, how on demand your actions are, there's no, like, lag time when you're, when you're dodging, like, you dodge and it goes, it just dodges, like, right away, it, um, you don't have to, like, plan super far in advance your actions, you know, you can just, like, do them, oh, there's a bull, hi, oh, and I have a bunch of credits, oh, he, he probably can only be attacked from behind, can he? Am I supposed to bounce? I wonder if I can bounce things and hit him in the butt. No, I can just wait. I don't know what I don't know what triggered him to do that. I'm not sure what triggered him to. To, to kind of move, to, to get stuck. Oh, that hurt. Oh, he hit me again. Oh, I, I should probably be in a place where I can see him. Maybe... Come on, come at me. There we go, that, that was good. Okay, wait, to charge and then... This is tough. Oh man, that wasn't quick enough. Wow! Oh wait, I have items. Can I... Sandwich! Nice! Wow! Oh, I can't eat for another 10 seconds. I'm really struggling with him. Oh, if I leave combat, I regen. So if I run away, I can regen a little bit. But he also regen. 
Alright, I'm not quite sure how to do this. I mean, I assume I dodge when he charges. But I, he, like, turns around immediately. And how did I get him stuck that one time? That, I... I swear I pressed dodge. Come on. Wow. That is too fast. I can't... I, I, like, don't have the reaction time for that. I can't just, like, for the most part, I can't, like, try to dodge behind him and, and, um, and just, like, quickly hit him in the butt. Maybe, what if I do a straight-on shield? I didn't even try that. I haven't used that, like, at all. Let me try to just do a shield. Well, or he just hits me. He just walk up and hits me. All right. Doesn't, doesn't help. All right. Wow. I really can't do this. I feel like a really bad gamer, but I really can't do this. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Like, obviously I'm supposed to get him to charge at me, but he turns around so fast I can't hit him. I don't get it. I don't get it. I... I feel really stupid, but I don't get it. I don't know what to do. I can't... If he charges and I dodge, I don't even get a single hit in. Right? Either he hits me because my reaction time isn't, like, flawless, or... I don't... There was one hit. I got one hit. Oh, I... I had... Well, for whatever reason, he died. He ran into the wall. If I trick him into running into the wall somehow, I suppose that'll work. I don't know how. I don't know how I did that. I didn't do it on purpose. Alright, I guess... I guess that's it then. Okay, do that again. There you go. Alright, well, that's the trick. I, that was not... Because it was such an open space, I guess I couldn't... I couldn't figure that out. Okay. Um, triple gopher. That's kind of frightening. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm gonna fight a little bit of these guys, and then I wanna go back to the beginning and just kinda see what is available to me now that I have money. I have a bunch of credits and probably some like some skill points or the, the CPs, like the, the circuit points, that I can unlock some new uh, abilities. But this is just a field of enemies now. I don't need to continue fighting. I get the idea. The combat is really awesome. It's very hard. I was saying that before, but it continues to be true. The combat is very hard. Um, but that's fine. That is fine. That is not a complaint. That is a significant... I love that. Alright, what do I have to buy here? I'm just curious. Alright, I got a bunch of credits now, so I could buy... a bunch of sandwich. These are salt, like really good sandwiches for healing. Veggie sticks, veggie wraps, veggie burger. These are like consumables. Um, a bunch of teas, ice cream, a lot of food, and then gear, goggles. Okay. It's a bunch of gear. And let me see, can I, what's my, oh no. Uh, tab? 
Circuits? Do I have any more circuit points? I got two more circuit points. So in theory, elemental armor not implemented? Okay. Some more defense up or offense up or melee damage. I could, it seems like there's quite a bit that I could play through. Um, oh, these are the arts. Or the... So if I have an art, melee arts, I could do these. Um, that's cool. Spinning saw, sphere damage. What are these? Ball of steel, bullet rain, guard sphere, proximity blast, first cut, Azure strike. Cool. That stuff is all really interesting. Um, so this is one of those branching paths, so I can only go this way. I can't go... No, I can't do this one. That's neat. I like that. I didn't realize that I could do these because these were so dark. I didn't see these pathways, but that's fine. So I could have I could have had those skills. But that's fine. Alright. I think that is all for this game. For me. For right now. This was supposed to be a super quick look. It ended up being a multiple episode sort of extravaganza because this this is a spectacular demo. I mean, like that was super fun. I enjoyed the crap out of all three of these modes. Story mode seems to be like a plot-based kind of your standard your standard sort of thing. It was a different character. This, not this avatar. It was another character. Puzzle mode with the ball bouncing. Like, that was cool. Exploration is like this huge RPG, like, whacking stuff. Action adventure game. It's so great. Really, guys, go fund this on Indiegogo. I haven't, in any of my other videos where I've done quick looks at games that are crowdfunded I've said like if you like this go fund it if you're interested go fund this game like full stop it's already amazing like it already is a ton of fun and it's obviously not finished and they have a lot more work to do on the story mode more puzzles bigger exploration all that kind of stuff but I'm really excited about it so far um, basic game, they're adding New Game Plus, they want a Wii U version, PvP and co-op, oh man, so many great things. So, you guys, go check this out, it's cross-code, it's on Indiegogo, give it a good fund, um, I loved the crap out of it, you will too, and, uh, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye-bye.